Ah, the potato. The humble spud. The king of starches, some might say. It's on the food pyramid. I mean, I don't know how outmoded that is in 2018. I don't really care to Google it either. Regardless of dietary shapes, the potato is a mainstay in our lives. I mean, you can fry them, you can bake them, you can even mash them. But can you do this? Well, my homie Bach asked me that very question a while ago, and after months of dark YouTube magic, I'm here to answer that question. Others have succeeded in the past using film, elaborate 3D printed stuff, but I don't have YouTube money, I don't have intelligence or patience, so we're gonna do this the only way I know how, using the pinhole method. Join me, if you will, into the secret Sweet Lou Photography Spudnik program. Where the fuck are the fucking potatoes, goddammit? Oh. I had to drop the audio here. This is more for you. Maroon 5 was playing. Our new potato contender. So, Here's what I'm thinking, all right? I am going to just cut this ass hole uh, right down the middle. Damn, those are fucking tough. All right, so here is the concept. I think what we have to do is hollow out both sides of it. So we have like whoop, one of those and one of those, right? And then we'll be able to kind of fold the photo paper in there and then pinhole the front end. Okay, let's, let's, I don't know. I have this weird like scooper thing. Oh God, let's just keep digging. So now my big thing is that I wanna have room for the paper while simultaneously keeping some sort of like structure on here. So I don't want this to be pliable. I don't think that'd be good. So here is our... Oh, it's like you ever see Monty Python? They use the, the coconuts for the horses. It's kind of like that, only not as good. But yeah, I mean, that looks... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Uh... Sure. can't even see it. All right, we're gonna be making a relatively small exposure. I'm just throwing it right in here. And there we have it. It's phase one. Stay. Stay, fuck. Fuck. All right, this one might be a little fucked up, but gaff tape is not adhering. I just can't get any traction on the dumb fucking potato. Just stay in there, you fuck! Oh, wait, okay. We're making a little bit of progress here. The entire potato is gonna need to be gaffed. Oh, the gaff tape's getting all gross. Oh god, the everything's getting all gross. Alright, we need to just get this out of here. Deep within this gaff tape cocoon, there is a potato. Oh, shit. Put this up, I guess. All right, and just like that, I christened the Spudnik one. I'm assuming this one's not gonna work. So Spudnik 1 was a failure. I mean, who would have seen that coming? But I mean, hey, we didn't get to the moon on the first try, did we? We learned a lot, though. We learned that the pinhole is gonna be very particular, especially due to the spongy nature of the potato itself. We also learned that we're gonna have to gaff tape the whole thing up. So with this knowledge, we move on to the next Spudnik. I was just editing a video for a client and I got struck by a bunch of inspiration. See, it's 4th of July, there's a lot of fireworks going on, and I've been thinking a lot about this potato camera. And this inspiration has nothing to do with this open beer. Hashtag not sponsored.
Ugh! I just got squirted by potato. Now here's where we get fucking crazy. I'm gonna impale this with a chopstick. Okay, and we're gonna tape this, tape this bad boy together. That'll be our pinhole. Experiment number two is very similar to the first. However, the key difference is that I am going to cover this same size hole up with gaff tape and then poke a pinhole in that. Smash that like if you enjoy stupid photo challenge because I don't. <laughs> I'm just kidding, of course. I, I mean, that what else would I be doing on 4th of July other than crudely taping a potato together? Ah, well, Spudniks 2 and 3 were also failures. What a bummer. But I did come up with another theory. I think something within the potato is reacting to the photo paper and causing it not to expose. So we're going to now adjust in the next phase of the Spudnik program. The plan this time was to make sure the photo paper was protected within some sort of container. In this case, a little souvenir from a wedding I went to. Alright. Spudnik 4 is ready for its mission. Spudnik 4 was ultimately a failure, but the paper did seem to expose, so it was the most progress so far. Unfortunately, Spudniks 5 and 6 were nothing to write home about either. I changed some things up, I used the glass bottle again, I used a little plastic baggie, and I used a pen ink cartridge to make the pinholes, but unfortunately, two more failures. Oh no. I'm out of gaff tape. Focus. It was time for something drastic. Deep into that darkness peering, long I stood there, wondering, fearing, doubting. <laughs> now why did I do that? So I think we're gonna chalk that up to a to a close enough. As I descended deeper into potato madness, I thought mashed potatoes, molded camera body out of mashed potatoes. I, I don't. I gotta be honest. I don't really know. So there's my shutter. Everything else is taped. I I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. The mashed potato camera was really my hail mary play, and uh, unfortunately. No good results. I did a scan. There's some faint stuff on there, but I don't really think it's anything. So I had one last idea to make this work. Should have known it would come to this. The potato will not win. Oh, fuck, ew. We're just gonna make a hole straight through on this one. Well, we'll leave the lens cap on and then take it off when we want to fire off a picture. The lens is set to f22, so it shouldn't really let in a ton of light. And we're going to just slap that onto infinity. And then I'm just going to masking tape this sucker right on. Duct tape. I accidentally knocked the aperture out of place during the taping process, but it, it should be fine. This shit's never coming out. I left this one outside to expose for about 12 hours. And after scanning and putting it on the computer, looking at it in Photoshop and inverting the colors, I was shocked to see we got something there. Even though it's faint, there's a horizon line. And that's... <laughs> that's fucking huge. I took a photo using a potato. But of course, I was using a 50mm Canon FD lens, so I thought it'd be smart to use something a little bit wider. So, one more Spudnik for the road.
Now I did a whole really nice take about how this Minolta was the first real camera I ever owned and that it was just a, a cool full circle moment that it would be going on to the last Sputnik, but I forgot to hit record on the Canon and I didn't, I didn't get any of that. It's using the lens from my uh, Minolta Maxim 4 zoom lens set to 28mm. I believe it's on infinity. I guess we'll find out. Um, and yeah, let's put it outside. Three days later. I completely forgot I left this out like all weekend and it got rained on. So we're just gonna cut this sucker open and uh, hope for the best. Beautiful. The final Spudnik was a culmination of everything we've learned so far, the idea about the pinhole being large enough, the sponginess of the potato. The only thing that didn't really come back into play was my idea that the potato was somehow affecting the, the paper, that I, I guess I was just wrong about that, but hey, I'm a photographer, not a chemist. We even got a nice little bit of a sun trail there, like the solar path on the left hand side of the frame. I am super thrilled with this photo, and I know it doesn't look that great, um, but hey, you know, I've been saving this joke since July. I guess you could say it's potato quality. <laughs> but all in all, I had a blast with this journey. Through the highs and the lows, I can finally say, fuck. I made the legendary potato camera. So ladies and gentlemen, please smash that subscribe button and hit like and all that other stuff. Do something to the bell. I uh, really appreciate that. I hope you join me for the ride. Stupid photo challenge does take longer than my normal videos to make, but it's a ton of fun and you know, wouldn't you want to be a part of that? So if you have any crazy ideas, leave them below. Maybe I'll do them. Anyway guys, thanks so much for watching. Uh, Alright, bye.